year 2023 will certainly be remembered for the rush of companies which brought their offers on Dalal Street, the exceptionally strong subscription numbers and of course, the listing high. But it was also the year which saw a big change in the intent behind bringing these companies to public. Now, before we speak about that change, let's take a look at what year 2023 was for the Indian primary market. A total of 49,351 crore rupees was raised through primary market in calendar year 2023. But interestingly, it was still about 17% lower than what was raised in 2022, which stood at 59,302 crore rupees. Another interesting statistic, the total fundraise in the current calendar year was nearly 60% lower than the highest ever fundraise, which happened in the year 2021 at 1.18 lakh crore rupees. Now, on one hand, where the fundraise was lower than the previous year, the number of listings, that grew significantly, which means that the average fundraise for IPOs did come down. Year 2023 saw a total 57 companies getting listed on exchanges, which was higher by about 40% as compared to the previous year, where we saw 40 companies getting listed, but of course much lower than the best year that we've seen so far, which was 1995, where about 1341 companies got listed on stock exchanges. Now let's speak about the change in the intent. This year, out of the total fundraise, 42% or about 20,600 crore rupees was raised for fresh capital, which generally gets used towards growth, capex or deleveraging. This compares to just 30% or about 17,600 crore rupees as fresh capital out of the total fundraise in the previous year, that is 2022. The share of offer for sale out of the total fundraise in 2023 stood at 28,700 crore rupees versus 41,600 crore rupees in 2022. Now, since we're talking about offer for sale, here's a list of companies where private equity players sold big through IPOs in 2023. Private equity players raised a total of 7,783 crore rupees through IPOs, and almost half of that came from Mankind Pharma, that stood at about 3,200 crore rupees, which was followed by Concord Biotech, RR Kabil, Hunasa Consumer, or Mama Earth. Now let's talk about the subscription cheer. Moti Sun's Dwellers, that became the highest subscribed IPO, receiving subscription of 160 times. Tata Technologies gave the best listing gains this year of about 140%. And if one moves beyond the first day, first show, then IREDA was the stock which has given the best returns out of all companies which listed this year. IREDA has given returns to its investors of nearly about 230% so far. The biggest disappointment this year has been IRM Energy. The stock is down about 8% this year. This was 2023 for you. But 2024 also looks promising for primary market with 24 companies already having received SEBI approval for their IPOs, these 24 companies will look to raise 28,440 crore rupees when it comes to their public offers. About 30 companies are still waiting for SEBI's approval for their IPOs. And if all these public issues were to materialize, then 2024 will be the best in the last three years for the Indian primary market.